Hi everyone, this is Rhonda from Mbaka Design. Today we're going to work on this double crochet ear flap hat. This pattern requires medium weight yarn, a 5.5 millimeter hook, a yarn needle, a pair of scissors, and I also recommend that you use a stitch marker. The pattern we're working on today is for the child size hat. We begin by making a double magic ring. Chain three. and work 12 double crochets into the double magic ring. We're not counting the first chain three as a stitch. So double check to make sure you have your 12 double crochets plus your chain three. And now pull the yarn end to find out which piece of yarn moves for the double magic ring. And then you pull on the opposite end and that will tighten the inner ring of the magic ring. Pull the yarn end to close the second ring and your top of the hat is secure. For this hat, we're going to be using a slip stitch to join into the top of the first double crochet. So skip over that chain three and work the slip stitch in the top of the first double crochet. For round two, we're going to be working two double crochets into each double crochet around, but we do begin with our chain three and then work two double crochets into the first double crochet. and then work two double crochets into each double crochet around. At the end of the round, you will have 24 double crochets plus that chain three that we're not counting. Once you get to the end of the round, make sure you notice that there is one slip stitch right there at the very end. Don't work into that stitch. If you work into that, you'll be increasing how many stitches you have for every round of the hat. If you have trouble remembering that that is a slip stitch, I recommend that you place a stitch marker in it so that when you get there, you know not to work into it. Make sure you have 24 double crochets plus your initial chain three, then slip stitch into the first double crochet, skipping right over top of the first chain three. For round three, chain three, and then work two double crochets in the first double crochet, and one double crochet in the next stitch. For this round, we'll repeat that all the way around the hat. So two double crochets in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch after that. This will increase our hat by 12 stitches for this round.
So two double crochets in one stitch and then one in the next. When you get to the end of the round, slip stitch to the first double crochet to join and begin round four. Chain three, work two double crochets in the first stitch and one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. We repeat that all the way around the hat, doing two in the first stitch, one in the next two. This will increase another 12 stitches for this round, and you will have 48 stitches when you get to the end of the round. Skip over the chain three and slip stitch to the first double crochet to join and begin round five. Chain three, work two double crochets in the first stitch and one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And we repeat that all the way around, working two double crochets, then one in each of the next three. At the end of the round, we'll have 60 stitches, which is the number of stitches that you will need for the child size hat. Skip the slip stitch, skip the chain three, and slip stitch into the first double crochet of the round to join. For the next few rounds, we're going to be working one double crochet into each stitch around. We're not adding any extra stitches. So chain three, and work one double crochet into each double crochet around the hat. And we do this for eight rounds. So for round six, all the way to round 13, we're working one double crochet into each stitch. Remember at the end of each round to skip that slip stitch and skip over the chain three and slip stitch into the first double crochet to join. The hat will start to cup into shape because we're not increasing anymore. So continue working around the hat until you have your 13 rounds. At the end of the 13th round, slip stitch to join and chain one. Now we're going to start working on our ear flaps. Work one single crochet into each of the next 10 stitches chain one and turn your work. Now the first stitch is a single crochet two together.
and then work one single crochet in each of the next eight stitches. chain one, turn your work, and we're going to repeat that again, working a single crochet, two together, and then work one single crochet in each remaining stitch across. There'll be seven stitches that you need to work. Chain one and turn, single crochet two together, and one single crochet in each remaining stitch across. There will be six stitches this time. chain one and turn, single crochet two together, and one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. Chain one and turn, single crochet two together, one single crochet in each of the next four stitches across, chain one and turn, single crochet two together. and one single crochet in each remaining stitch. There will be three. Chain one and turn, single crochet two together, one single crochet in each remaining stitch. There should be two. Chain one and turn, now work one single crochet in the first stitch, chain one, skip the second stitch, and one single crochet in the third stitch. Chain one to finish off and cut your yarn end. The space that we left, the chain one space, that's where we'll thread the tie through for the ear flap hat, so your braided ties, that's where we'll be putting that. Now we're going to start the second ear flap and you need to count over 21 stitches from the last stitch of your other ear flap. Mark that stitch with a stitch marker. And now put a slip knot on your hook. And we're going to start with a standing single crochet. It's easier than it sounds. Insert your hook into the stitch with the stitch marker and make your single crochet. 
You can remove the stitch marker now. And I suggest marking the front of the hat by placing the stitch marker there. Work one single crochet in each of the next nine stitches. You will have 10 single crochets, so double check. Chain one and turn. Single crochet two together. One single crochet in each remaining stitch across. Chain one and turn. Single crochet two together. One single crochet in each remaining stitch across. There should be seven. Chain one and turn, single crochet two together, one single crochet in each remaining stitch across, there will be six, chain one and turn, Single crochet two together, one single crochet in each remaining stitch across, chain one and turn, single crochet two together, one single crochet in each remaining stitch across. Chain one and turn, single crochet two together, and one single crochet in each remaining stitch across. There would be three. Chain one and turn, single crochet two together, one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Chain one and turn. One single crochet in the first stitch, chain one, skip the next stitch, and work one single crochet in that last stitch. Now don't finish off because we're going to work our edging round around the hat to make it look a lot neater. So work one single crochet in each row end for your ear flap section. I work under a single loop when possible and into the little tiny hole at the end of the next round. Now work that all the way to the main hat section where you'll see the top of the loops again for each stitch and work under both of the loops once you get there. And then on the ear flap section again, just work under a single loop of the one row end 
and into the space for the next row end. When you get to the edge of the ear flap, work one single crochet in the first stitch and in that chain one space, work two single crochets and then one single crochet in the next stitch on the end. And you work this on the other side of the hat and the other ear flap. And then we're going to finish off and make an invisible join for the edge of the ear flap. So skip one stitch and then work under both loops with your yarn needle and then in between the two loops of the last stitch you worked and it mimics the look of one of the single crochet stitches, the top of the stitch. And then weave in the yarn on the back. I hold the stitch in place so it doesn't tighten when I'm weaving. And then it's pretty difficult to see where you finish the hat. Now the hat's done. Leave the stitch marker on the front of the hat because we did leave a few extra stitches on that side because the face is larger than the back of the head. This will make the ear flap sit properly on the hat. Now we're going to make the ties for the hat. I recommend you find something that's approximately 15 inches long and then wrap your yarn around that until it has gone around 12 complete times. Cut the yarn at the one end and then you should have your 12 strands that are each 30 inches long. You thread them through the hole that we left in the end of one of the ear flaps. And then try to balance out the ties so the ends are fairly even. We do do some trimming at the end, but it just makes it easier to braid if they're all the same length. You can make them longer, and then you have more yarn to work with if you have trouble with the shorter strand. I tie a simple knot at the top and then braid the three strands that I divided the main strand into. and then you make a knot. I make my knot up higher and then slide it down to the end. If any of the strands pop out, I just try to re-thread them through as I go. Once I'm at the very end of the braid, I pull securely to tighten it and trim off the remaining yarn ends that aren't quite even. I do that for both sides of the hat and then I place my embellishment on the front of the hat and sew it in place. I've created a second tutorial for the flower if you'd like this, but you can put whatever embellishment you want on the front. You just sew it into place and then weave in your ends and you're all done. This pattern is available in multiple sizes that you can print off or save as a PDF from my website for free. I'll leave the link in the description box below. Have fun making your hat and if you like this tutorial and you'd like more, please subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.